This is our public input portion of the meeting. I'd just like to remind everyone that one, three, nine, four, <coughs> four speakers. Or anyone like, like to address the board? Mm -hmm. Give me name, please. Yep. Sherry Mitchell, 6121 Justin Road. I just have a couple of questions on two unrelated topics. Um, I was talking to some of my neighbors, and they have some foxes in our area that are running around. And I was just wondering how we deal with nuisance animals. Um, I haven't gone out and looked online, but I was wondering, you know, like, do we take them? And I know what you do with the dog when you pick him up, but what do we do with these foxes that are out there running around? The town actually has a contract. With Bill Barry, Barry's Wildlife, just give my office a call. We've got your address right here. We do have foxes. It's all in that area. He's been trying to catch them. Some of your neighbors have already contacted our office. If he does catch them, the town pays most of it, and you're just responsible for $15 of it. But he has to find them down. So he is aware of that area, and he is out there. Okay. Do they yeah. take the box, like, out somewhere? To Probably make... just for a swamp. Okay. No, they, I'm not sure you know what they do. Believe with the it or not, I think most of them go to the wildlife refuge here, Cicero Swamps, or foxes, or raccoons, or skunks, and there seems to be an abundance of them out there. Yeah. I mean, they're cute when they're running around the yard. It's like great, but then I heard that some of them are trying to attack the neighborhood dogs. Um, the other question that I had when I was looking at the Brewerton revitalization thing, one of the things I noticed that I really liked were all the cool little sidewalks, because you know, you're thinking, hey, you know, sidewalks, you can walk down the street. And I, it reminded me that weren't we supposed to put a sidewalk out here at one point? We were talking about doing that, and I was just wondering whatever happened to that the thing. Front of the Cause, yeah, because I see people walking up and down here a lot lately, you know, with groceries and things like that, and kind of get them off the road. So I was wondering what happened to that project. I believe we got a cost of it last year. I don't remember what the number was off the top of my head. It was a lot of money. About six thousand okay. dollars. Winter work. Okay. And it was supposed to be done in the springtime because it was going to be cheaper. Oh. All right. So are we going to do it? Still? The county we never voted to pass it. Okay. I brought the point before. Oh, okay. The board decided best to do it at that yeah. time. Okay. Um, it was late in the year, but there was problems with the county. I guess we have some um, some. Yeah, the state came out and they had an issue with some type of surveying issues that mm -hmm. has to be discussed and has to be taken care of. So it's really at their level right now to be able to go any further with it. And it really doesn't adjoin with anything. I mean, if we put it in, there's really no adjoining sidewalk area for it to adjoin to for that kind of money. But um, we did look at it. We definitely looked into it. Okay. Thank you. Should anyone else like to address the board? Yeah, I have two questions. If it's going to cost $65 and change to have all of the parcels reevaluated, why don't you just put it on next year's tax bill? We're checking into that. We're, we're, we're why go on and drag it out for three or four years? we got to see if we are able to do it. We can do it. We're right. checking into that. Yeah. And if you'd like, I'll just write you on the next Gee, only $13,495. The, the uh, other question I have is, I, I hear the term permissive referendum <coughs> bantied around. I think I understand it, but could someone please explain it for my benefit and anyone else who's not too sure what it means. Thank you. Heather? Sure. <coughs> a permissive referendum is one in which voters have to submit a petition with a certain number <coughs> of signatures in order to actually have it, <coughs> the resolution sent to a formal vote. That's different than a mandatory referendum. With a mandatory referendum, it automatically goes to voter approval. Gotcha. Thank you. Does that answer your question? Yes, so that's what it does. Just the board. Sister residents, <laughs> I'd like to comment on a couple of things, if I may. Uh, again, Tracy, I think I pointed out once before, but the baskets, the banners, they had, and the flags, of course, they had a lot to downtown Cicero. Um, and I congratulate you on all the effort you put into it. Do you have the Parks Department walk, walk those out? Quite a bit, they do. They keep them nice and uh, yep. fresh. Uh, the other thing I'd comment on is uh, striping in the town is 100% uh, better with a new machine that uh, Chris bought. I think it was for the quarter million dollars he spent, we gave him a big bang for our buck. $55,000. So. Does a great job. Um, my other comment would be, uh, as Ms. Mitchell uh, pointed out, if we're going to be putting sidewalks in, at some point we've got to begin to look at Cicero Hamlet. 
we need some shoulder work, we need some tip up curbs, we need places where people can actually walk. People go into these businesses, they shouldn't be walking out the road. At some point there can be a sidewalk in front of the town hall, but it's got to go from somewhere to a completion, and I hope that happens someday. My last comment would be this. When we consolidated the tax department with our town and also Salina, I thought it was supposed to be a cost-saving benefit. By adding this $35,000 job, I think we're spending more than we were previously. Does anybody have a number as far as what the budget's going to be in, in, in the uh, <coughs> office now? Sorry. I think with this position, we will be spending more. Uh, the board has always been aware of that, as was the reassessment committee, mm -hmm. knowing that when we take the step to do the reassessment project, we will need that extra person to maintain it. So it's it's investment in our future to keep our keep that investment current. Well, it is that, but then why did somebody throw the terms out of the tax saving move? Because it certainly wasn't going to be that. It was misleading. Well, there, at this point, it is you are saving my salary is less than what your previous uh, assessor was getting. Yep, so there yep. was a savings there. Okay, but, but overall, <laughs> it's costing us more and we're totally in a tax saving consolidation. It hasn't turned out to be that. Thank you. Does anyone else would like to address the board? Vern. Uh, I would like to thank Chris and Jody for sending uh, their help down. I don't know how much the blacktop costs, but last Tuesday, the $14,000 job at the park was taken care of in about four hours. So uh, The new bill, just to let Jody know, we saved the town $1,000. The new bill came in at $13,400. $950 is what we PO'd. I haven't gotten the bill from highway yet, but he's claiming it's about 13000 So anyway, we, we had joke. to save that much on it. That better be a joke. Okay. That's it. Thank you to Byrne, Byrne and Charlotte for coming out, looking at it, O'Brien and Gear for sending two of their best people out as well to meet that morning. And yes, of course, Chris's uh, staff and mine did a great job. So hopefully it'll last for a while and it, it definitely looks better. Let's we'll see what happens better. next year. Yeah. That's all. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Jody, for being on top of it. And it, it took a group of people to get it done, but I, you know what? Um, thanks for being on top of it. Billy? Just another thanks to Jody for the parade. You did a wonderful job, you and the entire staff. It went off flawlessly. Even the weather cooperated somewhat. And also to the chamber for the entire weekend. <coughs> you did a great job out there. <coughs> Nothing. The town has received proposals from firms hoping to act as the contract for transportation related improvements in Hamlet Borough. These improvements will be funded by the money the town received from Senator Schumer that is currently held by the New York State Department of Transportation. The project will involve creating additional parking in the Hamlet and improving the streetscape and will go hand in hand with other revitalization efforts in the Burke and Burke, such as the new zoning regulations discussed tonight. The funds we receive from Senator Schumer will go a long ways towards the overall revitalization effort in Burden, which started with our creation of a strategic revitalization plan funded through the New York State Local Waterfront Revitalization Program. We're continuing to work with that program, and I am personally very grateful to our local Burden residents and business, businesses that have been so enthusiastic about the revitalization efforts. Their enthusiasm has been more than just lip service. Many of them, like Dr. Carroll, who's with who's here tonight, Judge Walsick, have already spent significant amounts of their personal money to improve their properties and work. In order to keep moving forward, we need to form a small committee to interview these consultants in accordance with the DOT's procedures. I have asked that Jean, Wayne, Vern, Heather, and Helen Carroll from Burton sit on this committee with me to conduct the interviews. The DOT advises that our town engineers cannot sit on the committee. My office has made contact with the contractors and will set up the interviews. The committee will use the DOT's rating criteria and I will report back to the board with the committee's selection. Now I know we need stimulus money. <laughs> Any comments, uh, Tracy? Um, no, I just want to let everybody know that um, there's free fishing weekend on uh, June 27th and 28th, and our rabies clinic is Monday the 29th at the highway garage between 5 and 7.
Thank you. Being no further business, meeting adjourned.